Today I would like to discuss with you another issue that I'm going through. Before I was telling everybody how tired I was after my hysterectomy and um, now I, 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 I'm just remembering that I'm also suffering from hair loss. Um, hair loss, from what I understand, hair loss is something that happens um, possibly to those who just have surgery. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a hysterectomy, a C-section, open heart, like surgery, surgery. So your body is stressed and it's going through changes. And for whatever reason, you know, once the body goes into shock, then yeah, there's hair loss. For me, it was severe. It was just not severe, severe, but it was a lot of hair. It was a lot of hair that just kept coming out. And then eventually I just stopped combing it. I just stopped combing it. And of course, you know, with my girl, it's easy to stop combing my hair because I just put her on and I'm fine. But other than that, yeah, it's just um, a nuisance to, you know, try to wear your hair out and, you know, look cute because you already went through a traumatic procedure and, you know, you want to pick your spirits up and look good and feel good and for whatever reason, hair loss. Hair loss is a big deal. It really is. So I'm addressing that problem and I am going to my GYN doctor Friday, this Friday. So I'm going to ask like, what's going on? I'm sorry, I'm, I am going to my GYN doctor, but I'm actually going to my dermatologist next month. So yeah, I, I'm gonna save my questions for the dermatologist as well. You know, is there something that they can do for me um, that I haven't been doing for myself? But yeah, the update is, it's been a month since, well, it's been seven weeks now. It's going on seven weeks since I had my hysterectomy and it was total. Everything came out, the ovaries, the cervix, the tubes, and the uterus. So everything came out. My body went into shock and for whatever reason, um, about, I want to say three days later, I noticed hair loss, gobs and gobs and gobs, but today which is a month later, I combed my hair. I didn't, not for the first time, but today, um, since I noticed hair loss, which was like two weeks ago, I noticed that today, um, less hair came out. So I'm glad to report that um, the things that I'm doing to, to maintain the hair that I have is working. So I'll share with you. Um, some of the things that I've been doing and I'll leave some links so if you guys are interested you know shampoos conditioners um, supplements um, essential oils I'll just you know go through everything that I've been using to slow down um, the loss of hair and hopefully you know the the end product is to keep all my strands so this is what I want to do. I want to share with you guys what I've been doing, what I'm using, and hopefully if you experience the same thing as well, hair loss after surgery, then perhaps you can try it and get great results as well. All right, so let's begin. The first thing that I did was I stinked my hair. For whatever reason, I was told a long time ago that when you steam your hair, it um, actually allows the, the scalp, you know, that process from the heat and the steam to absorb the products that you put in your hair and on your scalp. So for that purpose, I stinked my hair so I can actually, like, you know, get the best results from uh, my shampoo and my conditioner. So with the uh, steaming, I just, I keep it real simple. I, um, I boil a pot of water and I just put my head over, it's in one of my videos, uh, my skincare videos, and I actually went through the whole process of steaming, but that was my face. But the same thing, the same procedure applies for the hair as well. I just lean over the steam pot and I have a towel over my head and with that towel over my head all the steam captures like my scalp just absorbs all the steam 
and the heat and it just really 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 makes you feel relaxed and it, it really makes you feel as if you're accomplishing something because once you apply those products you know I think it'll be a better like it will stick it's more adhesive dare I say but yeah it's just steam and it's just opening up your scalp and it's I feel it's just like really welcoming that next process that I do which is the shampoo and conditioner okay so um steam is not a big deal just a pot boil water get a towel and you know have your hair out of course and just make sure that your scalp is absorbing the steam as much as you can without trying to burn yourself you don't want to have that mishap you want to be very careful when it comes to steaming there are uh steamers that you can buy in the store walmart wherever you can buy steamers and you can use those steamers all over your your hair your, you know your scalp and your face of course but for me i'm just so old school i will grab a pot in a minute but i'm super cautious as to how i work around the steam with that pot so just you know, going from side to side and turning over and making sure the back, you know, the back of my scalp it just catches the steam. And it's a little tricky with the top of my head because with the top of it, my head, it's like a, a, a little circus act. I have to kneel on a stool and then bend down over the pot so it can, you know, so the steam can um, absorb into the top of my head. So that's what I do when I steam my my scalp and my hair because, of course, the hair is out. So, yeah, that's that process that prepares me for the shampoo and conditioner routine, which, you know, comes up immediately because your hair is out. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, so before the um, the shampoo and conditioner routine, I um, actually, I just go in and I massage my scalp. I massage my scalp while, you know, the pores in my scalp are still open and I just, you know, get my fingers in there and I just massage, you know, throughout the whole scalp, just everywhere, everywhere, you know, along the edges and the back, you know, deep into the sides on top everywhere everywhere just to stimulate the scalp so I do that with my fingers and then I um, get a wide tooth comb I get a wide tooth comb and I just like scratch it scratch my scalp you know lightly and just like get the blood flowing and stimulate it as well so I just take the, the comb and I scratch my scalp a lot of people do that you know, like when they have dandruff and they want to raise the dandruff up but um, I, I do it as a massage. So I take a wide tooth comb and I massage my scalp and it feels great. And with this process, I believe that it also helped as well. So yeah, so we're steaming the hair first and then we're, I'm sorry, we're massaging the scalp second. And then the next treatment will be the shampoo and conditioner. Um, I will leave the links below for um, the shampoo that I use, which is the BioSilk, which is excellent. It's a little pricey, but yet and still I feel for my hair, um, it gets the job done. It, it, it does what it needs to do. So it's the BioSilk uh, shampoo and conditioner. Links will be left below. Okay, guys, so um, just to, you know, go over some of the things that I just mentioned um, as far as the process that I use to at least slow down the um, hair loss, I, you know, just really, you know, did the hair steam, the hair and scalp steam, and then I did a massage, scalp massage with my fingertips and a wide tooth comb. So with those two things, I feel that, you know, it's just stimulating the scalp really, 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 you know, um, speaks volumes. It, it, it helps the scalp absorb um, the shampoo and the conditioner. So the shampoo and conditioner that I use is the BioSilk, the BioSilk shampoo, conditioner, and then there's a hair serum. 
So I'll, I'll leave that link below. So this way, you know, if you guys want to check it out, it's on Amazon. So it's not a big deal. It's just shampoo, wash it out, condition it, and then you put in the hair serum. Okay, so that's something else that, that's another step. It's a process, but it's worth it because you get to keep your hair. Now, mind you, my hair is still growing. It's still growing. So the fact that now I'm able to retain my strands, um, I'm hopeful. I, I'm, I'm extremely hopeful. I haven't heard anybody talk about hair loss um, after hysterectomy, but I know for myself that before I had a hysterectomy, I didn't suffer from hair loss. Then all of a sudden, I have this hysterectomy and gobs and gobs and gobs of hair is coming out. So, you know, one plus one equals two. So I'm already like a firm believer that the hysterectomy, you know, just the procedure itself going, my body just went in shock. And um, and that's what I had to deal with. That's That's the... I guess one of the side effects. So yeah, this is what I'm doing and I'm sharing it with you. And hopefully if you guys experience it, and even if you're not experiencing it, you know, just it's a great procedure. And I'm going to continue to to do these things um, periodically to my hair just to get that stimulation. Because yeah, I did get a little lazy. Like sometimes I just wash and condition it and that's it. You know, especially with my girl. Yeah. It's so easy to ignore your hair, <laughs> but I'm, I'm planning a trip in July and I'm leaving my girl home. So I need my hair in the best possible condition. I want it looking healthy and strong. So this is why I'm going through what I'm going through. So by the time I do uh, plan my trip and, you know, I'm, I'm taking off, you know, the outfits are great. The hair is great. Everything's great. So... That's my plan. That's the goal. All right, guys. So there again, let's wrap it up. So we did the, the um, I'm sorry, we did the hair and scalp steam. Then we did the massage with the fingertips and the wide tooth comb. And then, you know, all that leads up to the process of shampooing and using the conditioner and the hair serum. Okay, so stay tuned for the next step. Okay, so this last procedure, this last step, I have not tried yet, but I am waiting patiently for this package to come into the mail. And the package is supplements. I um, was doing a little research and I just wanted to know, like, what's the best supplement to take um, that will, you know, bring your hair back, just, you know, make it thicker. Because, you know, like I said, I have no problems growing hair. I just want to maintain the hair that I have. And, um, you know, just going through everything. And then I um, was looking at one of the doctors particularly caught my eye and he was going into different um, organic, um, uh, what is it? It was like, like fruits and vegetables and things of that nature. So he really like, really, you know, like my ears perked up because the things that he was saying, I knew that um, this supplement that I always wanted to try, I never bought it, but I am now. And I'm like, wait, I mean, everything that he's naming is in this supplement. So I want to let you guys know that I have not ordered it yet, but I am about to order it probably right after this video. I should have ordered it last night when I found out about it, but that's fine. Um, so let me get my glasses so I can read it to you. And of course, I will send you guys the link. But it's um, collagen pills, which is a thousand milligrams. And then it's biotin and that's uh, 10,000 milligrams. And then keratin sol pimento is 2,500 milligrams. And then the hyaluronic acid is also included. And let's see, they're saying that it helps with the hair, skin, nails. And it has the DHT blocker with vitamin E. So, oh yeah, and don't let me forget, it also has the folic acid um, pumpkin seeds. So, oh, all that in one supplement, it's got to be great. It really has to be great. So, I am going to try it. I'm going to try it. 
And, um, you know, you guys are welcome to try it as well. And I will definitely send you the link below. So that's it. That's it. That's what I've done minus the um, supplements. But, you know, that was my routine. And then, as I said, I noticed that it's it, I had, did have hair loss, but it wasn't as much. You know, could it be that my body is calming down after surgery? Maybe. But I want to basically make sure that, I'm sorry for oh, moving around, but um, I want to make sure that, you know, I can prevent as much, as, as less hair loss as possible. You know, my goal is to maintain the hair that I have. If I can get it thicker, fine, but to, at least don't make it thinner, you know. So I'm just grasping at straws and I'm trying... Now, my routine is my routine. That's what I do. I steam, I massage, and I do the shampoo and conditioner. That's what I do. But, um, you know, I really, really, you know, on a regular basis, went all the way in and started doing these things. And as I said, I'm noticing that there's less hair loss. So I have to be doing something right. Now, with the pills, the supplements, I have to say, for me, I'm a hairy chick. Like, I I got the mustache going. I got the little hairs under my chinny-chin-chin chin going. You know, so I have to really be careful when it comes down to these, you know, hair, skin, and nail vitamins because they work. And one thing about that, it's like wherever you have hair, okay, that's where it grows. So it's not like, oh, well, I just want to grow hair on my head. Not for me, no. I will grow hair everywhere, everywhere. So wherever you have hair and you take these supplements, that's where hair will also grow. If it's on your knuckles, you're going to have hair on your knuckles. <laughs> oh, just a little joke. But yeah, so I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to send you the links. And yeah, um, if you get a chance and you like my vid, please don't forget to like you know, hit that notification bell. If you want to, you know, ask me something, leave a question in the comments. If I can answer it, I'll be more than happy to. But yeah, that's about it. So like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification. Thanks, guys. Um, I'm going.